What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a brand new Liverpool transfer news or news video where we will talk about FSG's most important appointment since Jurgen Klopp announced that he is leaving. We appointed a new executive at Liverpool or the owners appointed a new executive at Liverpool who will oversee the hiring of Jurgen Klopp and also uh, he will oversee a lot of the major football operations at Liverpool. His name is Tao Epstein. Uh, that, that name doesn't ring well but he has no connection whatsoever to Jeffrey Epstein. Epstein. They just have the same name and he won the World Series three times with the Boston Red Sox He also became the the baseball major league executive of the year in 2008 He also became the sporting news executive of the decade in 2009 and he was voted by the Sports Illustrated as the best ma general manager of the decade So he was the general manager at Boston Red Sox and he also became the Times Magazine one of the Time Magazine's top 100 most influential people in the world so in this video we will take a deep look at what Theo Epstein will bring to Liverpool and why this is such an absolutely brilliant appointment by FSG after doing a lot of research on him I'm really really excited for the future because he is one of the most brilliant minds in the world of sport right now he also ranked as number one in the fortune magazine's world the 50 greatest leaders and he will be joining FSG as a senior advisor and a senior executive that will be his role and one of the most immediate tasks will be to work alongside Mike Gordon consulting FSG on hiring the next great Liverpool manager. Xabi Alonso is the early front runner that's what the Athletic is saying and according to the Red Sox president and CEO Sam Kennedy one of Epstein most immediate and highest profile tasks will be consulting as Liverpool hire the next manager. Kennedy told The Athletic that given the desire to win everywhere we viewed this as tripling down on our commitment to winning. If our teams and clubs aren't winning there is nothing to talk about. No one knows better how to win than Tao Epstein who already oversaw three like uh, league titles that uh, they call it World Series wins um, in a baseball. Epstein and Gordon have a long-standing relationship. Epstein will not just, uh, you know, have a role in on finding in finding Jurgen Klopp's replacement, but also Epstein will have a high-level consulting role on big picture endeavors and major strategic initiatives for FSG. So he will mainly work at Liverpool FC, but he will also oversee the major operations at FSG. According to Kennedy, Epstein will also act as a sounding board an executive coach for Penguins GM Kyle Dubas and new Red Sox chief baseball officer Craig Breslow because the FSG are owning an NHL franchise and a, a Major League Baseball franchise of the Boston Red Sox. Um, Epstein led the Cubs to the 2016 World Series Championship. The franchise was viewed as such a progressive organization that executives from teams in other professional sports often checked in to compare notes and brainstorm ideas. One of those executives was Dubas who was working with the NHL's Toronto Maple Leafs when he struck up a friendship with Cubs officials including Epstein. In 2019 Epstein hired Breslow, a former Red Sox reliever for for his first front office job with the Cubs all before giving him a strong recommendation this fall for the Red Sox job. A few months ago Kennedy approached Epstein about joining FSG as an advisor. It took him some time, Kennedy said, and he started to get excited about building a new skill set as an executive coach of sports, getting involved in multiple sports and as an owner. He became excited about it. John Werner, sorry, John Henry, Tom Werner and Mike uh, Gordon were ecstatic, ecstatic about the concept of having him. This guy is very highly regarded, very highly rated in American sports. He 
told me this might be one of your worst or one of your best ideas, Kennedy said of his conversation with Epstein. And eventually he was convinced that it's the right move for him to join FSG. And what I really love about the search for Jürgen Klopp's successor is that um, it is informed by the club's uh, Liverpool's data analysts who have been trying to match potential candidates and their style of play with the profile of the squad. Xabi Alonso, a former Liverpool midfielder, is an early front runner according to many various journalists and I already reported on that. Liverpool also need a new sporting director as a matter of urgency. Jörg Schmatke has now departed and there are pressing issues to resolve of course uh, the new transfer targets for the summer transfer window but also the renewal of big contracts of Virgil van Dijk, Mosla and Trenox Ronald. Those need immediate attention but I think first you need to hire the manager and the sporting director and absolutely Epstein will be helping FSG with that. But Epstein also has a big job to do in Boston as well because the Boston Red Sox have finished last in three of the previous four seasons. And uh, FSG also re announced that payroll in 2024 for the Boston Red Sox will be reduced. So that's a little bit worrying from a Liverpool point of view. But as long as Liverpool are successful, I won't complain too much about the owners. But you know, they need to back the new manager with some transfer funds. And you know, when FSG bought uh, the Boston Red Sox as their first big investment in 2002, hiring an Epstein who was 28 years old in 20 2002, that was perhaps their most important move because the first time general manager became the architect of Boston Red Sox. Red Sox first title win, first World Series championship win in 86 years. And then three years later, they won another World Series title in 2007. But they had an ugly departure in 2011. But um, that uh, didn't hinder relationship between Epstein and principal owner John Henry. It looks like they repaired their relationship. John Henry said in a statement announcing Epstein's role, there is no question that Theo left an inc indelible mark on our history that represented a transformative era. Welcoming him as a member of our ownership group and in the role of senior advisor to the company brings with it a sense of completion. And probably without Epstein's aggressive but prudent moves in the early years, FSG might not have grown into its current status as a multi-billion dollar sports conglomerate. What better person to turn to than someone who helped them lay the foundation for future success and now Hopefully FSG will lay the foundations for future success for Liverpool Football Club as well. Kennedy said it made sense, it made sense to add firepower to our operation. But of course Epstein's task is monumental. Uh, finding Jurgen Klopp's successor might be one of the hardest uh, jobs in the world of football and also one of the jobs that has the most responsibility because you are basically deciding the fate and the future of uh, the immediate future of Liverpool Football Club as well. But the reason why I'm so excited about this appointment is that this could be a game changer for Liverpool. He is proven expertise in sports management and his admiration for the club align perfectly with what Liverpool currently need. His knowledge of what it takes to lead an elite sports team is likely to be valued by FSG as they try to fill critical vac vacancies at Liverpool FC. And this could very well be the catalyst Liverpool needs to navigate through its periods of change and maintain its position at the pin pinnacle of uh, English and European football. Epstein played uh, football in high school. Football as we call it football, not American football. And he still plays in a weekend league in a Connecticut near his home. He's also a fan of the Premier League. And according to his friends, he has followed Liverpool very closely. As an executive, Epstein may not have a background in football, but his knowledge of what it takes to lead an elite sports team is uh, very, very good. Very, very high. And an, an expert in American baseball has said that uh, Epstein is probably one of the smartest executives baseball has seen in the last uh, 25 years. Built the Red Sox first two World Series winners under FSG then repeated the trick with the Cubs around 2015-2017. Epstein is very cutting edge on analy analysis, analytics and stuff. I guess you would call it moneyball but not in that he doesn't spend it just that he has been one of the best the sport 
world has seen in terms of understanding value and where to spend the money. Who is worth the big contract? Who is the savvy signing? Where you can maybe get better along the margins? That sort of thing. And that's exactly how Liverpool operate and want to operate going forward in the future. We absolutely have to maximize what we get, get for our money of what we spend. And another baseball fan said, Theo is the best front office person in American sports since uh, yeah, the last 25 years. The Cubs and the Red Sox were the most cursed teams in American sports and ended 71 years of wait for the title in terms of the Cubs winning the World Series and 86 years of waiting for a title in the uh, for Boston Red Sox. And he ended those uh, droughts very fast into his tenures. He is universally regarded as one of the best, sharpest minds in American sports. He was working for the commissioner of baseball for a bit and he was discussed as a future commissioner at baseball, which is like the highest guy that you can, uh, the highest position that you can achieve in American baseball. Another Boston Red Sox fan uh, said that seeing Theo get hired by FSG and quickly assigned to Liverpool gives me hope that they will make the right choice in the decision-making process for Jurgen Klopp's replacement. The guy has turned water into wine everywhere he has been in Major League Baseball. So that's uh, all, you, all you need to know, I think, about, about uh, him. And I think with the, with the analysis team at Liverpool in place, he will do an absolutely brilliant job. This is uh, one of the most important appointments that FSG has ever made, I think, in, uh, since uh, they bought Liverpool. Tao Epstein also also said this about joining FSG. It's a great honor. I'm really excited about it. It's just exciting to be joining a groundbreaking company across multiple sports, doing so many innovative things in sports these days. It's perfect. I was looking for a pathway into ownership and that's just that's just brilliant we probably should all call, just call him Theo instead of Epstein because that name is uh, you know not doesn't ring um, doesn't ring well and what is absolutely staggering to me is that Jurgen Klopp's uh, Liverpool have scored 981 goals this uh, since Jurgen Klopp became the manager which means that Jurgen Klopp will reach probably a thousand goals before he leaves the football club which is absolutely amazing and of course Mo Salah is the leading goal scorer with 204, Mane has 120, Bobby Firmino has 115 so that's the famous front three of Liverpool. Diogo Jota has 54 goals, Divock Origi has 41, Coutinho has 37, Darwin Nunez already has 26, more than Daniel Sturridge who has 25, James Milner has 25, Vinaldum has 22, Van Dijk has 21, Luis Diaz has 19, Oxley Chamberlain and Trenox Arnold has 18 each, Cody Gakpo has 16 goals as well, Minamino has 14, Curtis Jones has 16 as well and you know I don't want to look through the whole list but what is absolutely brilliant is that Mo Salah gets 0.68 goals per 90 minutes, Sadio Mane 0.5, so he gets one goal every two games, Bobby Firmino's goal rate was 0.4, Diogo Jota's goal rate per 90 minutes was 0. is 0.6, which is better than anybody else bar Mo Salah. So Diogo Jota is our second best goal scorer, which is absolutely staggering. Origi 0.55, absolutely amazing. Coutinho 0.51, Darwin Nunez 0. 0.54 goals per 90 minutes. So Darwin Nunez scores more goals per 90 minutes than Sadio Mane or Bobby Firmino, which says a lot, I think. And imagine when Darwin Nunez starts scoring more of his chances, which surely is just a matter of time. So yeah, let me know what do you think about everything that we talked about in this video. I'm really excited for Liverpool FC's future. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a nice day. See you later. Goodbye.